Hello and welcome to this FIFA 18 experiment. This time I'm going to be doing the best under 27s team versus the best 27 and over team. So this is basically the young versus the old. Can the experience beat the youth or will it be the other way around? So this is the youth squad. This is a 26 and under squad. We've got uh, the most expensive player in football, Neymar. Then, alongside him, we've got a player who just cannot stop scoring. Salah, who also cannot stop scoring. Two Team of the Year midfielders. And then Dybala, as well as quite a decent defence. It's not that bad. Maybe not as good as some of the other players in the squad, but it's still a very, very good defence. And a world-class keeper, De Gea, in goal, 91 rated. Courtois isn't bad either, 89 rated. Then you've got Alaba, Sule, Pogba, Thiago, Hazard and Griezmann. I mean, this team looks incredible. As lo you know, everything looks good. The starting 11 and the subs. So it should be a good team. It should be hard to beat in a match. Especially with that Neymar, the Kane. Those two players should shine and score lots of goals. And with the 4-3-3 formation, it's quite attacking, so they should be able to get some goals out of it. Also, the instructions are normal, as usual, just the same as standard. And then the custom tactics is this. And uh, now we have the 27 and older team. So, Ronaldo, Suarez and Messi. I mean, you can't get much better than that. Modric, team of the year midfielder. Cruz and Silva as well. And that is... David Silva, by the way. Very, very good team so far. Then you've got Marcelo, Ramos, Chiellini, Alves. A lot of experience, a lot of quality. And Neuer in goal, 92 rated. The highest rated goalkeeper on FIFA 18. And then the subs. I think it's 39 now. So a 39-year-old goalkeeper, if he comes on, He'll be very experienced and ready. Alba, who's very quick. Hummels, 89 rated. Then we've got the legend Iniesta. Ozil. Bale is very good. Maybe he can come on if Messi doesn't perform very well. And Lewandowski, who is also incredible at 91 rated. Now, I am expecting this team to just edge the other team. But it should still be quite a close game. And it should be very, very interesting. I mean... What's the score going to be? I don't have a clue. Put your predictions down in the comment section right now before the match starts. And all the tactics are the same. So they've got a fair match on their hands here. So MK Dons are the young team. And Sheffield United are the old team. I've done that because uh, MK Dons, well, I think they're the newest club, who's newest professional club in English football. And Sheffield are the oldest club ever. Sheffield FC, so I thought I'd just pick Sheffield United. So, the youth team, the 26 and under team, is in the white kit, and the older than 27 team is in the red kit. I'm not going to control any of the players. That'll all be down to the CPU, the AI, whatever you want to call it. So, there's no bias in there. I'm not going to use my own skill to determine it at the end of the match. But anyway, this will be interesting. Ronaldo and Messi on the same team as well, but they're going to be wearing Sheffield United kits. That's an interesting one. That really, really is. The game kicks off. Here we go then. Ball from Kante over. Another header. Will he win the header to get it in? No, he won't. Ramos does though. Dybala here. To Salah, who shoots, and it's a goal! He shoots low and hard into the left side of the goal. It goes past the goalkeeper. And now it's 1-0 to MK Dons, the 26 and under team. And that was a great goal by Salah. Some good passing. Dybala did well here to hold the ball up. And then it's a pass him. And there it's a shot, hard and low. So the goalkeeper just cannot save it. What a brilliant goal that was. Salah looks very happy with that goal. It was a good goal, I have to say. Dybala here to Kane and... Uh, whoa, I couldn't keep up with it. It was so fast. The passing was just so quick. I couldn't keep up with the play. But um, Kane to De Bruyne and he's just missed. It was so close there. 
bit unlucky for De Bruyne. Cross to the box here. A heroic punch from De Gea there. Brilliant. Modric here. To Silva. To Suarez. It's a goal. It is a goal. They've equalised. It's now one all. They've done it. it oh, that was a, a great pass in there. And then he just gave him the space to just shoot. He, he had a player behind him, but no one in front of him. So he made it quite easy. Off the bar from Salah. That was a lucky. It could have been 2 1. But unfortunately, it wasn't. Kane here. De Bruyne will score from his second chance. No, he won't. No, have a great save to keep them out. Salah here. Oh, a high ball. He heads it. No, he doesn't. Dani Alves heads it instead. Out for a corner. Into the box now. Dybala. Oh, that was so close. I thought that had gone in. Wow. Just before half time, you cannot get much closer than that. Look how close he got. Whiskers away. Whiskers. Suarez, another close shot just before half time. Both teams could have two or three goals right now. And they've both been quite unlucky here. I think this one's even closer than the Dybala one. Literally skims the post. So Suarez, he scored a goal from two shots, but both teams seem to be quite unhappy. They've wasted some key chances, and I think both teams think they should be winning this game. But it's now one all. Both teams can win it. Any team can win from one goal. So it's quite exciting. Five shots to two, and 60% possession to 40%. MK Dons, the younger team, have definitely played much better today in the first half. But who will win in the second half? Modric here to Ronaldo. It's a goal. Beautiful finish. But I think the key part of that goal was the pass. It was just perfect. Perfect amount of power on it to get to Ronaldo and a direction on it. The placement went to his foot exactly where he wanted it to. And it's just an easy, simple finish. As that defender cannot do much about that. And that is Kimmich ran right away as well. What a powerful finish that is into the side netting. Beautiful stuff. Here we go then. We're going to get a goal from this. Silver. Ooh, nearly. But a good save from De Gea. It could have been a third of the game for them. Nice from Ronaldo. Oh, Messi's shot's been blocked well. Good defending. So Iniesta on to David Silva. Will that make a difference in this match? Will it help him get a third goal in this game? We'll see. Oh, great ball into Ronaldo. Just outside the box. Crosses it in. Oh, good header from Alexandro. Thiago on, De Bruyne off. Interesting, interesting. He has missed a couple of chances, I have to say that. Into the box now. Oh, nearly. Good header and he just uh, he just doesn't get the goal. But another save from De Gea. What a cracking shot that was from Lewandowski. Bale on, Messi off. Surprising, but Bale has a bit of pace on him. It could be a good substitution. We'll find out. But there's only, what, two, three minutes to go now? Neymar here. Oh, what a save from Neuer. What a save. That's kept him at 2-1. And it's ended 2-1. Salah is, is happy that he's got a goal. But you know, it's disappointing of his team that they couldn't create enough, well, quality chances to get him a second goal in the match. But 2-1's not too bad. I would say, though, that the older team is a bit better overall. They've got a much better defence. But to say they only lost by one goal, the younger team is not far behind. And I think in the future, when this team becomes the old team again in a few years' time, as the potentials are quite high on this game, this young team should become better than the older team. So six shots to eight, three shots to five on target, and even possession all game, really. So Sheffield United, the older team, they definitely performed better in the second half. And that's why they have won the game and the younger team haven't. So to conclude this experiment, basically, they're not too far behind each other, really. Well, the MK Dons team isn't, the younger team isn't. And in the future, I think it's going to be pretty good to watch. There's going to be a lot of world-class players around that are going to be even better when the ones you are seeing right now, which are a bit older, a bit more experienced. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this FIFA 18 experiment. Make sure to check my other playlist. 
and find out my FIFA 18 experiments I've made previously that you haven't watched maybe and some of my FIFA 17 ones because both of those games have lots of interesting experiments on them. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.